I'm TJ. I'm Andrew from the Grand Family Homestead. We're in Michigan, and you're watching Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. Bang! All right, it's Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. It's Real Time Wednesday. <laughs> I don't know, it's about noon in the Midwest right now. Today on Wednesday, I'm going to do this video for you guys and upload it right away so you can uh, learn how to make your own um, fence stretcher, okay? So this is a tool that you're going to need on the homestead. Um, you're going to use quite a bit, especially if you use woven wire, chicken wire, and things like that. Um, so it's pretty easy to do, so I'm going to show you guys kind of a step-by-step. -step. And, uh, you know, you guys can make it, watch along with the video, and have another tool for your homestead. So the first thing I have here is a two by four. Um, you you want to probably make this, most fences that you're going to use probably are five foot um, or so. So I'm going to cut this off right at about four foot, mm, maybe about four foot four, something like that, four foot six. I'll go four foot six. Because the reason why we do that is we don't want to pin the very top and the very bottom of the fence uh, so that way we can get steeples in and work with the fence and everything else so i guess you could make it five feet uh, but with my experience um, a little less than the five feet is ideal so we marked our first board we're going four foot six Yeah, everything's going good. It's nice and hot. Real-time video. I uh, unloaded some uh, wood today, if you saw the uh, Instagram post. And um, it's the first day of summer as well, so I won't be doing probably much more wood uh, during the summertime because of the ticks and everything else. I like to get my wood early in the spring and then late summer, fall, and then in the winter. But I got a, I got a pretty good pile laying around that's getting dried out, so I wanted to make sure I got at least a cord or so put up in the fire room or the uh, wood woodshed here on the back of the outdoor kitchen. Okay, there's the first board. And then I'm gonna get right on the second board here. Double check my measurement. Four foot six. Yeah, you're going to use a lot on the. Uh, a lot of this is going to be used. This fence stretcher will be used on the uh, homestead. Now, the first time, of course, because we came from the city, right? So we didn't have much experience with this kind of stuff. But uh, so I saw the Amish had it, and um, you know I used it quite a bit. I was doing a lot of fencing with them when I first got here. So, um, I need to make one for my own homestead instead of borrowing one all the time. And it's so easy to do. All right, so you have your two pieces here. Now I use treated wood. You don't necessarily have to use treated wood, but I did use the treated wood. And um, that's just gonna give me a longer lasting board. Uh, you can use uh, rough cut wood or you know whatever you wanna use really. Um, I got, I found some bolts that I had laying around. I got some half inch bolts. So I'm going to show you guys how this all goes together. And then what I'll do is in an upcoming video, so you're going to have to stay tuned. I'm going to show you how, I'm going to show you how this all uh, is used, how you actually use this fence puller on a fence. Okay. Um, there's no particular rhyme or reason here. Um, I'm going to start up at the top and pretty much is going to be like um, 9, 16, 24, you know, I'll mark my holes off like that, inches. So 9, 16, 24, 32, 41. Might not have enough of these bolts, but at least I'll get you started on this and then you'll get the general idea. All right. So we wanna make sure we run our um, line, our 
put our screw in here right in the middle of the board. Now you don't, you know, you don't want to have the hole too big, uh, too loose because one board you're pretty much always going to have the screw left inside of it, the bolt left inside of it. It's the other side that'll be coming on and off, and so um, to squeeze, you're going to like sandwich the fence in between the boards. So put our washer on. You put your lag bolt with your washer. And actually these, um, actually these bolts are a little longer, obviously, than I'd like. I think these are about eight inches long. So I'm just gonna use the Sawzall and cut them off. And uh, that should, you know, be fine. I'm just trying to use what I already had on hand. So we'll flip this over. So what I'll do now is I'll get my metal bit out for my Sawzall. Now, if you just go to the store and you get and you pick up your own lag bolts, all you're going to need is probably like a five inch long lag bolt. So, like I said, I'm just using what I have on hand. I don't have time to run to the store or anything else like that. And uh, we have plenty of lag bolts laying around here. Just happens to be I don't have any that are five inches. Got our first one on. And now we're just gonna keep working up the board. So this is basically your fence stretcher, okay? Um, I have to round up probably one, maybe two more uh, half inch lag bolts. You'll need washer on each side and a nut. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the nuts off and then you're going to open up this, uh, the two boards and then you're going to put your fence in, in on the back side of this board. And I'm gonna show you guys a full demonstration coming up, just stay tuned. I just wanted to show you guys because I was making this getting ready for the project I wanted to show you guys how to do this in case you had no idea and you wanted to have a good fence stretcher on your property for your projects the other little tip I'll give you guys is on this backboard here you might need to bore this bore those holes out just a little bit more you want to keep these on this board, you want to keep all these lag bolts really tight, okay? Um, so you want them just big enough to get in there so that way you, you don't have these falling out all the time. And then you put your fence in here, and when I do the fence coming up, I'm going to show you guys how to place it in here. But if you're using like a woven wire, if you're using like a woven wire fence, hold on a second, I'll get you some. All right, so here's your woven wire, and then here's your verticals. You're going to put your fence post puller or your fence uh, stretcher on the vertical right on the opposite side that you're pulling right so all the force is pulling along that vertical and then when you clamp this down on the fence it's going to allow you to get the fence uh, really really tight okay so i'm just trying to show you guys how it operates but i'm going to give you a full-on demonstration 
in just a little bit. So um, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna stretch some fence coming up, but I had to build one of these, so I wanted to show you what it looked like. So you just put your board back on there. Now, you know, if we're talking about having your, your fence would be sandwiched in between here right now, in between these two boards coming out, and then you're gonna wrap a come along around it and pull your fence tight. So this is just a quick uh, how-to tutorial. Not the world's greatest, <laughs> but I think you get the general idea. And these make fantastic uh, fence stretchers, especially not really, you know, you can't really use it for bob wire, barbed wire, but you can use it. You guys will get that joke if you've been watching our channel for a little while. But you can watch, uh, use this on any kind of uh, chicken fence, you know, uh, uh, woven wire fence, you know, um, anything like that, that uh, for other livestock. So there you have it right there. This is how you build a fence stretcher from scratch. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. My name's Doug. Check all the description links down below and we'll see you on the next video. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. You might want to check out these videos. And if you want to become a homestead homie, click the picture of us below. We, we will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.